Hello, it's Burgess Taylor. Coffee chat Tuesday. So I was going to stick with the, the schedule for this week, but our internet has been out pretty much since Thursday of last week when the people came to do the polls. Yeah, when I had the poll shit going on. But it turns out it wasn't them messing with the poles. It was something with the voltage at the transformer thing. But we finally got our internet back at like 9 o'clock last night. It took uh, 5 hours to upload the video, the writer tag. So I decided to do a coffee chat because I haven't really done one and kind of catch up on what's going on. As you can see behind me, I now have my storyboard up on the wall rearranged a few things and if we were having coffee right now I would um, tell you that that was a lot of work and I'm still not quite done with it yet I'm still working on it. I had somebody ask me I think it was on the writer tag video what inspires me to do videos or to do vlogs you know for the past two weeks since the beginning of December I have been trying to catch the sunset on a video but I either don't have my camera with me or I'm driving because I pick up my son from work at 5 o'clock. Sun sets about 5.30. So I decided that today I'm going to take my camera with me. And I'm going to get my son to film, if he will, because sometimes we can see it. If I go the other way home, like normally I go on the road that you see a lot. But if I go the other way home... I am going in the direction where you can actually see the sunset and I thought well I'd try to get that on film today and it's, it'll be in tomorrow's video. I have a little bit of video of my grandson I'm going to kind of put the end of this because if we were having coffee I would talk about my grandson and how much fun I had Sunday spending the day with him. Me and my grandson went to my parents house for the day to visit and we had a we had a really good time. My mom sat down on the floor and played cars with him with matchbox cars. It was so cute, y'all. And I tell you that the writing is going okay. Um, some days are better than others. Yesterday was a really good day. I hand wrote some stuff um, that were, I guess, probably journal pages from the main character. She's kind of feeling a little lost with the training. She's not quite as powerful as... She well, she is as powerful. She's just having a hard time because she's been away from it for so long. Not practicing witchcraft at all and blocking her powers. So it's taken her a little bit to get into it. And I'm at this place where she's got to because she's about they're about to be attacked. I, and I hand wrote the right before they get attacked scene. Right when they she catches the light from like a sh sh the ground shimmers. She sees something, it's it's her psychic ability, and she glances up and she sees this flash of light in the woods. They know that, they don't know how many people are out there yet, but they know that there are people there. They're pretty sure it's the hunters, but they're not like 100% sure. And Garrett tells her, they're in the middle of training, and Garrett tells her to message telepathically Poe and let him know if we were having coffee. I would tell you that I have good news to share but I probably can't share it until the end of the week or the beginning of next week. I also have some bad news. My daughter totaled her truck yesterday. She loved her truck. She really loved her truck. So she's, um, I guess she said she was gonna get, it's a new to her Ford Focus. She'll get a lot better gas mileage and she'll have more room in that, so that's a good thing. And see, here we go, Tamara, there goes one of the loud vehicles, the conspiracy. It's a good thing I'm not writing right now, but of course it happens when you're filming too. You like my sweater? The owl with the glasses? I wear it on one of the days I don't actually have my glasses on. So I dyed my hair. I took the one where I washed out all the dark color and then you have the dark purple underneath and this is like a red and a purple I don't know a plum but the dye is on my scalp up here 
So I need to wash it a couple of more times to get that off of this right here because it's just not coming out. I think I'm going to leave it like this for a couple of weeks and as soon as the gray starts showing right up front, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the dark purple, I think. I will tell you that Bare Minerals is working out okay. They sent me some new eye colors and stuff and I really like those. Star Wars. The CoverGirl Star Wars lipstick, it's number 50, is the dark purple. Don't have it on today because I don't really have on dark purple, but Star Wars, CoverGirl, number 50, it's the dark purple, in case any of you were wondering. What inspires me to do videos? See, I got distracted. I'm so sorry. I think sometimes it's something I see. For regular things where I do like some of the vlogging where it's like a day in your life kind of thing, it is time spent with my grandson, my husband, my kids. It's regular everyday life, but you take just a tiny little portion of it, just a tiny little clip, and you add it. Like with the coffee, brewing, the trees outside. I'm really big fan of nature so I like getting those kinds of shots if we lived near the ocean or a lake I would get a lot more of those I already said the sunset the sunrise I also like to just sit outdoors sometimes and talk it's just that I need a one of those I guess noise canceling whatever for the wind because that I hate when that happens I'll be outside and I have this really great conversation and then I check the video and you can hear like this awful n noise in the background because of the wind and I don't like that. Sometimes it's about getting clips of what your everyday life is like, like your books or your dinner or your husband sleeping on the couch in the recliner or um, just whatever. I, I don't I don't do enough of those videos I don't think. Um, simply because I, I actually leave a pretty boring life. Um, writing is what would, is my job. That's My husband will tell you that's my job. And he's right. It is my job. I'm a writer. And I am a housewife. I cook and I clean and I do laundry and all those wonderful things. Right now I am in the process of this weekend I am going to purge. Um, I keep seeing people do it and I am seriously going to go through the closet that is in here and some of these clothes and I'm going to have big garbage bags full of stuff to go to Goodwill and to go to the recycling center for trash and there goes another truck <laughs> so, because it's time for me to get rid of some of this stuff I've held on to some of the business clothes and stuff from when I was in management working at finance companies and at the bank and stuff like that and um, I just don't really need very much of it anymore I'm gonna keep some of the button-up shirts the nicer ones some of the suits one or two maybe two two for each season but right now I don't fit into them I need to continue to lose some more weight my son and I had a smoothie last night and I should have caught film footage of it but I will try to do that tonight because I'm gonna do a different kind tonight I did kiwi, one green apple, one yellow apple, spinach, some vanilla yogurt, and white grape juice. We tried, we stayed pretty much all kind of green or yellow, and a banana. And it was really good. Now tonight, we're going to do some pineapple and blueberries and strawberries and a banana, and some almond milk, and some vanilla yogurt, and some ice, and I'm going to try that. It'll be like a dessert, because we'll have that after dinner. And dinner tonight is going to be doing seafood tonight I, I try to do seafood once a week and because my husband is on the road a lot he doesn't always eat the healthiest because truck stops don't always have the greatest food to choose from so when he's home I try to make healthy meals probably tomorrow night we'll have zucchini and squash for I have fresh zucchini and squash and I will slice it up with an onion and we'll have that along with skinless boneless chicken breasts and some red potatoes. If we were having coffee, that's pretty much it. The writing's going pretty decently. I have quite a few books I'm reading. I have read Waterbound, but the one, the copy that I got from Thrift Books didn't have the end in it. They said it was a good copy, 
but it ended abruptly at like page four something and it wasn't the end and I was so upset I was just oh my god so I emailed them and they're sending me a free copy that was this one that's the one they're sending me the new one because I don't know what happened at the end I've read spirit bound and I'm in the middle of reading earthbound I also read invisible by James Patterson and David Ellis that was actually a really good standalone sometimes James Patterson for me is I like his books but sometimes there are ones that are way better than others and sometimes I'm just like hmm, okay but that was a really good book I'm reading this one I finished the talisman by Stephen King and of course you know I love that book I'm in the middle of reading this the art of plotting by Linda Cowgill Cheryl recommended this and she's right it is really good as soon as my son finishes the 2.5 book for Patrick Roth, the, um, the Name of the Wind, I got that one from Thrift Books. I'll be reading that. These are the next two. I'm going to read The Hobbit. It's mythology. I'm going to get, this is The Age of Fable. I'm also going to get the another mythology book. And I have The Grim Fairy Tales, which I have been reading. These are on my to be read list along with Deeply Odd and then St. Odd. So if we were having coffee, this would pretty much be the end of our chat. I tell you that I'm grateful that my daughter did, whoa, there went my book. That my daughter didn't get hurt in the accident yesterday morning. My grandson was not with her. She was on her way to work. She'd already dropped him off. I tell you that I'm thankful that my son's room is finally clean and he vacuumed it and he vacuumed the living room for me. Hot cocoa, Victor. Cheese. Yeah, hot cocoa. Cheese. 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 Tell me what you're drinking. What is that? Hot cocoa. Yes. Cocoa. There you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me go back to this. I also get inspiration for videos from um, watching other YouTube videos. It's really good, like some of the tags and some of the topics and things like that. It's always good to get different perspectives and different opinions. And when something really um, makes me think or it affects me in a positive manner or I really enjoyed it and I think my opinion might matter or might help somebody else or something like that, I will do a video about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you soon. Enjoy your the rest of your coffee and have a good one. Thank you for watching. Bye.